See what you got. Five players pushing to the top of middle. Breeze very patiently tucked around long doors. He's going to get a lot of bodies coming for him. Floppy just gets deleted, and Stanislaus seems so ready for this. I mean, they pushed with absolute conviction, and they got dookie. Nobody even got a kill. They didn't even have to throw any of their flashbacks. Look at EG. That we don't often see. Hey, why not? Run it again. Try once more. Stan, ready as ever. Turk and Ethan are going to chime in with a couple of kills, so that's great. Anything, because they don't have any SMGs. Ooh, that's a big one. Sonic's able to pick up the kill blind. That was such a clap. It's a dust two. Things get a little bit more interesting. Most maps may be strongly favoring the T side. Sonic, oh, just praying it doesn't spread. And it seems like he is. Yeah, he's in it. And he's out of it. He's done. He Long presence from both teams that got us to the 4v4. And then the three-man walkout onto the B side is from EG so far. Meeting it with just like the A. Wow. Ethan. Yeah, he's been doing great. He stopped the push before. OC on the fallback through the door. Wants more because he doesn't want to have to retake. The site's been taken though. Three to four. This is pretty even. Oh, two ops on the retake. They're going to fall off this super quickly. If they don't Ooh, get the kill. Less. Oh, yeah. That one there. It's the big pick from OC. Double man advantage. Tarek starting to think about getting aggressive here. The outside molly means that the CTs had to play back, so it's not like they're going to barrel stuff him if he tries to peek the window. I like this. The same initiative that gets OC his, his pick on the retake is the same kind of mood that gets Tarek on the move. JT comes inwards, and both Tarek and Ethan die here. But he's not going to get uh, more than one kill right now. The two people walking out. The first fight goes down. They have all of the people necessary to trade. Whoa, nice second spray down and they aren't even atta attacking him anymore there's going to be a player on the site that gets the opportunity to help him out but he'll now fall back see oc position himself down cat there's oh. still that threat of ethan and the hammer of cirque just comes pounding down he sees another player oh. towards cat peeks out and drops him too so cirque has done it all floppy tries to creep through the smoke and he's gonna find no being provided you have all the pushes locked down that's breeze to chime in early nice frag from oc floppy up top Potential here for him, especially if Modem helps him out. He stays alive. Damn, Floppy's gonna get one close with the Deeg and Cloud9. Ready to try and make OC uncomfortable. He decides to start running forward. They use flashbangs, but he doesn't seem to give a damn. He's got the op back on cycle as Sonic lends him to the depths of Goose. He's gonna get baited out though. Ethan able to close the kill. Get up close and Cirque with a headshot versus JT. 3v3, right back into it. And Ethan's bomb plant's gonna be over for the catwalk where EG have some control. Now Breeze is being pinched from both the top and bottom of mid. He's hiding behind the boxes. Floppy's trying to come out and help him, Modem that is, to get the kill. There we have it. They're able to find them all. <laughs> Sonic, the Dude. was closed doors, decides to go back into the window. He lays down a Molotov towards tunnel, so he just has to keep his eyes forward. The second shot connects, but there's two more next up. Very close, Sonic as well, but OC just sticks it through Tarek, no scope, skewered the man. He's gonna be used as a warning sign for anybody else who tries to show up on that B bomb site. Tarek, if needed, and Sonic tucked back behind the boxes. He doesn't pull the trigger despite being blind, and that's gonna pay off for him. Status lock creeps right into the scope. Cirque has to plant this bomb in the three versus three, but the entirety of Cloud9's coming in from Catwalk. They maintained a good amount of utility to pull off this retake, and they have been good on these retakes. Yeah, they throw the smoke first, goes down in front of them. Molotov, mandatory towards Goose to try and burn a player out. Now these flashbangs are going to enable the first two to try and take their peak, so they have to find their kills because the timings are dwindling, and so are their lives. An eight for Evil G. Not even a little bit for some reason. Ooh. Well, listen, he's not the only one tagged down. He gets Ethan to 17, takes to the top side of Pit or rather plat, and he's smacked back. Nine, uh, six, best case scenario for Cloud9. Yes, best best case Ontario. They do, so I think they just made one of their plays towards B this time, it works out well. They did get that that tag. Doesn't want to offer his life away. Don't blame him. Stanislaw gonna charge right into the bomb site. finds Floppy behind the column. Tarek trades it straight away. Sir, he's already posted for the window kill, but the flashbang allows OC to get the best of him with a scout. A four versus three, and they have JT so quickly coming in behind the tunnels. 
that could serve as an issue here because I don't think it's going to slow things down too much. But if they wait too long, Breeze is going to start shooting him in the back of the head. Oh. He cuts off the two towards door. Now OC has to turn back around and he's the third to hit the floor. Modem's flank is all they had to work with and evil geniuses give them nothing. Game plan. We had some strong yeah. pushes into the B bomb site. We had some great flanks, especially to finish off the half. But let's see, they can bring it back. Trying to charge into the B site. They are able to get that front runner, but there's still a player towards platform. Oh, he's down for the count. A man advantage up here for Cloud9 because Floppy gets the two piece. Breeze just already trying to throw his line of vision over towards the site. He wants the planter first and foremost. Then he'll deal with the two duos over towards that car. Oh, Floppy. Oh, still up, but OC's gone down. One tap between the eyes from Breeze. Cirque gets Floppy close. He's into the clutch. 1v1, ah. and he's got the cover for the win as it just trails off into the distance. <laughs> Man. Now, listen, there's still no bomb plant at the moment, but uh, Cloud9 trying to get their feet over towards this A site. Counter terrorists throwing themselves into the smoke, and OC's going to punish Ethan for that. But Stannis oh. Law, Does he know? he's going around oh. both of them, and they are already deciding to go up towards ramp, so he has it in the bag. No, so they're going to have to get it. Either the information or the kills. That seems as though they won't find either. Well... That's not true. They've got a lot of information. There's a bunch of bodies up here, and they can't get through them. Stanislaw even tries his hand. That I, I didn't get to notice was it, when they tagged up Ethan, they decided once again to kind of gamble on the CT side. Well, okay. Wow. Wow. Let's get that one cued to the highlight reel. Just the definition of a drive-by. Through the telephone pole, and Cirque brings it back through his own enemies over here to try and take it back from him he's probably thinking over his dead body he'll get an upgrade and he'll get a chance to catch him oh, oh, one tap wow. that's the bomb dropped he's got a flash will he re-peek immediately yes he spotted he's a car him. oh but his aim good and bad thing yeah no opponents but no fun oc now there's a third set of eyes in Ethan's off over towards DT Cross that could also lend a helping hand, but the smoke grenades are now going to deny the chance of that. Tarek, he could decide to run through this with the help of a flash, but he too blasted back. It's Cloud9 with another sweep through the underbrush, jumping over logs, and then they find him hiding in the cave. Really? A couple of times we've had some highlights, but not wild explosive moments that could have been the one i was looking for look at the damage that Tarek is able to do but he still comes up empty-handed in terms of kills it's just gonna be another b crunch ethan wow, deleted man. as floppy doubles down through the windowsill just chewing through a b hold yet once more breeze back onto the kill feed he's gotten his 17th frag of them and uh this has already also been a game that favors the peaker it just is heightened obviously plus some damage whoa inside the fire sonic very quickly moves his feet right there after jt and modem just chewing up this mid play cloud nine and yeah, they have taken the path of least resistance by winning all the correct rounds and getting a very, it seems like anything. And it's going to be a full on mid control setup here for the CTs versus the T's. Who gets the entry is Breeze. Very nice. Trigonometry on the nade makes it happen. And then, of course, Tarek. Nice. He's going to be the player to extend this man advantage. Finally, a sh it's like that time you and I went to Macau. <laughs> yeah, that was you definitely wasting money. I mean, it's for entertainment purposes. Cirque and Tarek not looking very comfortable over towards this A site. That's both of the evil geniuses who have lower health here on the site. Good night. Floppy comes up from Catwalk, shuts it down, switching over to the AWP here. At Smoke, taking some shots at Floppy. He's damaged, losing 90 health to the AWP before Ethan needs to 1v3. And he's not going to find anything either. So yeah, don't forget that Floppy, he was the bold prediction choice of a couple of North America's top players in the top 20 of 2019. So he's predicted to break into the top of the scene this year. And I can understand why. Three versus three attempt for Evil Geniuses to try and extend this first map. They had the 10-5 half before Cloud9 turned it upside down. 
and now could be just two kills away from closing Sonic. <laughs> oh my, 22 and 12 to finish the map. They never found footing on the retake. And it's a five versus five retake as well. This is nuts. Back behind the bomb site. He's gonna get softened up slightly oh, here. The Molotov's burning him. And he gets that second. Stanislaus well in with the double. So OC, one versus four, a quarter of his health. This is EG. Outside presence now for Cloud9. I know, but it'll come at a cost. Yeah. Nice made. Galil back behind box. Tarek just holding down mouse one, flicking left and right, and adding bodies to the pile. He gets himself three frags here versus the pistol rush. Of and they are beneath the floorboards, and Cloud9 are like, oh crap, not again. Yeah. This time, Modem Insight actually able to stop the bomb carrier. So this does kind of bring the play to a halt for just a moment. Ethan, he's not going to decide to go for the bomb plant until Breeze can open the doors and give cover. Calling out Sonic's position back dark and then extending to drop JT2. Now, Floppy's still in the mix. Over towards Mini is where he gets his kill versus Sir. And there are players hunting him. Great attempt there to drop Stanislaw. Floppy ready for one, and that's him done. Shut down by Tarek, but what's crucial is as you alluded to, Sonic's position back in the garage, and then combined with bottom, is that's three CTs to have seen him. So Breeze is gonna round the corner, and he's got two players dead to right. Now, can they finish this off? Can they clamor back? and deny Cloud9 their opening round because this was the four versus two with the bomb down that looks so solid. OC finds timing outdoors, catches the head of Breeze, and pushes the clutch onto Cirque who can find nothing for it. OC. And fights for those frags, and now um, as they put themselves in a, in a good position. Floppy, wow, perfect peak. They actually stop all the squeaky aggression. Terrico is going to hard commit out. Could risk getting off. Yeah, Cirque still taking pot shots through the smoke and is successful. Ramp push. But it looks like they're going to start moving forward. Even despite the threat of these CTs, Cirque able to regain vision. There's a player back behind the bomb site, but that's OC to lock it. So they've got a bit more confidence too. Sonic dropping the Molotov again, spotting them. They're all running through to try to crush him. Do a good job of creating space, but he dismantles too. When the op connects again. Tarek coming out of the vents. Through mini. Round outside. Like a and he demon. gets the kill. Good job. Finds Modem. A little heavy on the feet. And peeks right into OC. Sonic's gonna swing open those doors, it seems. Ethan's trying to plant on the other side. Floppy gets the best of him. Now we do have two members of EG still above the bomb site, but somebody has to drop and try and get this bomb in. Floppy, he thinks he's got timing here. Seven seconds on the clock, and Cirque goes huge. Picks up the bomb, but he doesn't plant. They need the kill. He tries to go for the frag instead of the bomb plant, and that one's gonna cost them. For some somehow. This is wild. Stan's big wraparound. Sonic, he's gonna get just pushed by this one, and Stan makes it happen. Combining with the other teammates on this site just in the nick of time, he has to stick the plant right now, and he's gonna get that in. Oh, OC's gonna try to close the gap, but Stan comes up with the gun and can't manage. So close. T back outside of hell. Spotting for the push. Modem will have a couple of friends to take down, and yeah, okay. Ooh, wow, nice. nice. Pretty good. Some good unconfirmed damage on the players dropping into lower. Cirque also gets taken out. Tarek slow. Breeze is low already. They might cross into the site and plant, but they are not having a favorable retake situation. No, especially not with already low health, but Breeze starts smoking off one of the two exits from ramp. Stan, he's actually blocked off on both. Nope, just that one far side. Still open, and he's able to get his 12th kill on the board. He's got two frags this time. Bomb too far gone. Evil geniuses slide into their sixth. It costs them. Cut off players through double doors, but he's making a lot of noise. Stan's going to know this, but not that he can do anything about it. Sonic with a fiery headshot as Floppy comes in with another one. So now it's a double man disadvantage. Cut back by Breeze. Bombs planted in front of the double doors. Ethan with everything to do. And they don't know where he is, but they're sticking that bomb. And by the time he gets to the peak, it's over. Cloud9 in with the retake and they eat. Whoa, he almost gets oh. JP. Floppy executes it, but Ethan, he is still able to get another one at the exact same time. So we're trading on each extremity of the map. Floppy in with another one. Gunning down Breeze, doubling back, and now trying to hold off the player from spawn. Tarek, this is going to be a tough...
Vision clearly over top of the bomb. Tarek trying to serve as a distraction here. And wow, he gives him an elbow. OC takes it clean off. And Ethan's going to have to go for the 1v2, but he's a victim of the same lane. Tarek's mm -hmm. going to get pushed off of the ramp. Very quickly parading their way down to the B bomb site is Cloud9 in its entirety. Sonic's even going to go through the control room, going into the Molotov. Oh. Ethan, poor guy, is just getting bullied all map long. Sonic's not going to even move here. He's going to tuck into the corner and try and welcome them in on the retake. A three versus five attempt coming out of EG. They're able to clear that first player, but mm, I don't know. Not looking so hot until Modem gives them an opening, and now it's just down to Floppy. This has gotten a little too weird. Floppy hears the bomb tap. It's not the stick. He gets out, but he's turned right back around, and evil geniuses, but it's three. And then the bomb site has fallen, but they are still even keel here on the retake attempt. They try to jump in from heaven. Floppy, Sonic, and Floppy again across the kill feed. They're second guessing things. They feel as though they've got another opening here outdoors. Sir, gonna plug that up real quick. Awesome kill versus OC. Readjust and comes back for another. We've got a new M4A1S contender, it seems. Sir, gonna try to add another to the tally. Does the damage versus modem to basically guarantee this round. 10 health, three opponents. I don't think so. Well, listen, the M4A1S users are all banding together to... to Ethan, he's gonna get split on. Tries to hide on top of the roof and breeze almost with a beautiful lineup there between like two or three players. Look at the damage. Check out those health bars. I'm not sure oh, what else is in store here, but Stanislaw and Tarek, they're going to start getting this one happen, and he's able to get some footing out from Vent, and now it seems a bit more even. Awesome flick shot from Stanislaw. He falls to 5 HP. Sonic in the back of the bomb site has the fire spread at his feet. Blocked off by the squeaky door, but that's not going to stop them from going through it. Sonic and Floppy trying to gun down the A defenders, and so far, so good. Cirque's off shot goes amiss. Man disadvantage, so let's see if he can crack this one open. He sees two players, lines them up, comes inwards for the third, and he grabs them all so close on the wall bang. Cirque's going to finish it, but Stan watched Cirque deny the secret repeat. Here comes Floppy. Gets just the one, stand down in the vent, locking down the bomb carrier, doubling up on the second player too. He always seems to be in the right place at the right time. And that is one of the best skills you can have in Counter-Strike. So EJ bomb site by Storm. Cirque's gonna go peeking around the red box. Oh, shit. Because hold on, Cloud9, they just re-aggress down into the ramp. They haven't checked Stan. Stan sees three players, shoots down just the one, but luckily Tarek at the base of ramp is good for a kill as well. He's gonna try to run back, and as he's throwing flashes, he is blasted away. Big time. Modem, he can just stay back in dark. Sonic just has to hold off ramp, and him going down is not gonna be great for them, no sir. Ethan. Oh, JC definitely lagging behind a bit as well. Sirk adds another. Straight out the gate, back-to-back -back rounds here. I mean, everybody knows that round 25 to 30 matter most. So for him to be getting these opening kills, it is huge. Two versus five attempt. OC can't manage anything in this one. Modem. Hmm. He's going to need the ace. He's got players just above him. He's going to try to find timing on them, and that's going to be read like a book. Stanislaw. To find statistically the sound it makes. True. <laughs> Modem, he's just going to fly down into mini. Luckily, Stanislaw, as always, somewhere to fight off of. And over from Garage, he cuts down one outside. Oh, three. Oh, three. three headshots off of the back of the bomb site, and that's just enough for Tarek to swing out from heavens. That's throw a wrench in the works by getting hell control. Breeze is going to be close hut, not behind the silos where he just popped off. A slight difference in position could be all it takes, but he only gets one this time. It's Ethan with two kills off of the top of hut. Stanislaw to steal the deal and evil geniuses. Right now, they're encroaching closer with one player already past Ivy and two on Old Bomb. Breeze is doing a really good job of just waiting here at the top of the ladder. He needs his teammates to get something done. Floppy's trying to dodge shots up here. Still very much alive with a fresh magazine in. Ethan, oh, he just tries to stick the bomb. Overall, they got the bomb down nice and fast. They did a good job, and now it looks like they pour out into the outer site versus the force up from Evil Geniuses, closing in on these scouts. Getting real close. 
Couple of shots do connect. Floppy and Sonic. Hanging on for dear life and Stannis Law. The four Galils won't mean to be upgraded. Ooh. Bit of a bank here. Terrorists fall silent. CT's making a little bit of noise. In with three frags. It was hard to call who was going to come out on top, but it looks like Cloud9 have bested the defense. Tarek back in. Latov outside of Z. And those couple of flashes to just get the slight... The anti-eco that we've seen in the past. That's worked out so well. Smoked it back six. Modem leading the charge. And this... Oh, they actually didn't smoke back six. Well, Ivy was left kind of wide open. But they still don't find a trade. And Cirque's now left alone. The AK is saved for him by Tarek when we had all those flashbangs flying over A, but nobody actually being there with what we just saw this time. Commit to A. Floppy's going to go above the trains, trying to get past this double off setup. Evil Geniuses with a five versus four modem. Wow. Fast adjustment there and the oh. follow-up headshot versus Tarek taking back the kill advantage. Evil Genius is going to have to rely on Breeze here. Low health back sight Stan. He's cautious of some sort of a V hit, but there's nobody over there. Double Molotov confirms that the majority of Cloud9's members are still at A. Uh, that allows Cloud9 to uh, take the win. win. Trying to lead the charge here. His smoke just got gobbled up by the Molotov. Doesn't actually pop. Kills being exchanged back and forth. One apiece. Ethan. Just trying to get away from all of these Molotovs spread across the entirety of the A site. Floppy with another crucial kill now throws a bottle up into the top of Office Cirque. Burnt to a crisp. And Floppy's going to try to drop Ethan, which he does. Stanislaw again, just like last round, left alone with no teammates and no real chance at a win. That is slowing down whatsoever. Modem does get popped through the smoke. And OC, his friend behind him, collateral damage in this affair. Cirque also... Stands his ground. That's an off shot down, <laughs> and everybody's dying behind smokes. Ooh, Sonic does get the one. Tarek caught between the trains, and there it is. It's done. Stan's going to be losing health. There is still Tarek within this bomb site, but down he goes. Nice flash assist coming out of OC. The utility has been crucial, but Floppy stops for no man. Just tearing through the back line of this B bomb site, taking everybody with him. Modem close on smoke. Terrible situation over on the B site. He's definitely very good at this map. It's showing right here in his score line. Another fantastic entry for Modem as well. Close smoke, Cirque eats the flash, and that's just enough for Modem to get himself another. Oh my god, the whip around. He just throws his crosshair. Yeah, it's not a close one either. It's not one where evil geniuses are just like, in general, like... Why he would throw that frag, and then I remembered it's to buy another flash. Mm. But they can do this. Push right past the front line of the A site. Trying to line him up. Floppy's gonna have to reload. That's gonna cost him. But even then, Tarek is so incredibly blind. Gun goes dry. Sonic in with another. OC keeping him at it. The oh, pace man. of these rounds. God, it's, it's, I mean, it's almost hard to walk. I want to look away. <laughs> but I just can't. You know, it's like a car crash. Execute as it is to try something new and then lose. So I feel like they can do no wrong. They've already got 11 rounds. Why not try it? Oh my God. Think things are still not necessarily being covered. Danger here. But uh, eventually, Evil Genius can pick it up. Yeah, they Of Canada. Deep Molly. Rough timing. Ooh. Oh. Still great damage nonetheless. Cirque's going to come out and try to hold this back. It was Stanislaw overwhelmed by the peak. That nasty timing, two immediate kills as well for Cloud9. It was looking even, but only for a moment, of course. And then it's done. Garnering him all of these opportunities and him just landing every shot, basically. God, the confidence is just boiling over the brim. Breeze comes in, two kills and another couple across EG. So they find footing across those first 15. But we're back into it for the second pistol. Tarek's going to get charged down on Ivy. And here we go. A great start for Evil Geniuses. This game's not over yet. A little smoke. A very lonely smoke. But a situation where you don't even want to waste utility, right? Yeah. They pull the rotate. OC has no choice but to respond and it looks like they actually were running it back outside for a second in fact are they yes they yeah are. yes they are they brought it back over and not important because Cirque, well he's just two people peeking of course the buy up from cloud nine 
Smoke's not exactly on the mark, but it might be for a purpose. Oh, another tag on Ethan, but Freeze is picking up the pieces, and here is where we see the importance of taking play afraid of a scout headshot, and one of the best ways to get through that sort of a setup. I've watched both sides. That helps out a little bit. Oh, wow, that's a great flash to the top of Ivy. They take out that threat, and now they can actually still continue on with that inner split. But look at the rotates. They already know. Yep. Oh! <gasps> They've got the two CTs trapped inside of Z, Sonic, and OC, both with a kill apiece. Just sprint over as quick as can be. He knows the CTs are somewhere back here, and he's able to answer. Tarek down to 51 health. Sonic, 58. Bomb, gone. To the halfway point as well. Sonic's just going to try to stick it, and Tarek deletes him. So that's Ace. They can focus forward. They have IV control. Dangerous spots. Yep. Good thing Tarek gets the first kill on this commitment, and Ethan follows suit. That's two for Tarek. Floppy's flank, though, coming in from ladder, caught out. So both Tarek and Ethan with a couple kills apiece. Bottom was mollied off. By the time he arrives to the bomb site, he's outnumbered one to four. This is EG with an eight. And put together something special. Sonic and OC both off in. OC, first man. Kind of. Ooh, he gets shot by Sonic, who follows up with a second bullet, then even tags Breeze. These AWPs are opening matchup here between Cloud9 and Evil Geniuses for the NA coverage, but, uh, whoa, let's go. Already starting to charge outside of T-Con. Sonic and JT, though, trying to hold this line, trying to keep Ethan back, and he's just gonna charge forward here. He's got the smoke over towards Ivy to cut off two, so his kill versus JT could be crucial, but JT jumps up, getting one. Deep smoke first and foremost. Tarek ready for the bomb, and there it is. Quick first headshot, search in with the AWP. He puts down the molly and steals the deal. Tarek getting it done. <laughs> Self-emulates in celebration. Floppy. That is an axiom of monks. Get the dig out. Up close, he gets the first one, and he's oh, oh, dude. gonna combine with Modem for a second. They are working with minimal tools. And a chance, because Sturks oh. get, gets caught out up on cycle. JT, the D, it's all working. Stanislaw, he's gonna take damage. Breeze back in trying to do it all, but he too is dropped to 29 health. Both of these EG players left sub 30 HP. The same can be said for Cloud9. This one's gonna come down to the damn wire. Modem jumps up, clears Stanislaw off of the bomb site. Breeze having to clutch. He needs four kills in the round. He's playing the same position as Tarek in the last, and he almost lines them up. The tap through smoke. And they get real close. Sonic, he's getting sprayed through the edge of the smoke. That actually allows him to go for the kill and he gets it? Unbelievable. Evil geniuses, they're gonna keep trying to sprint into the A site. They're looking to fall. They're anticipating a jump up, but it just doesn't happen. Ethan close versus JT to get a kill, but Floppy catches his chest. Floppy, he's over towards e -box side. They could just go ahead and cover up the bomb, but Cirque, he's confirmed the last two CTs, both here trying desperately to rob away the round. The tap gets the peak, but they find nothing more for it. Here we have it though, Evil Genius is gonna try and commit down ramp, Floppy gets the one, and off of the flashbang, repeat, continuous spray down, a little bit ambitious trying to get that USP frag, but hell, JT's got another one in the mix over towards the A site, Cert desperately trying to jump over to the opposite side of Oil Train, he could have already had that bomb planted, but he expected a peak, decides instead to plant it within the site, Tarek, 99 health. And Cirk already low, but still capable to rip heads clean off. Catches Sonic on the top rope, goes back for more. OC's gonna wall bang him, and Tarek's gonna have to come in with the one versus three. Kicks it off with the first kill, sees the first of the last two, and decides not to commit. Instead, just playing around with them, doing it silently as they jump onto the bomb. He's caught with his knife out, and that's gonna cost them. We have come down to the outside takes with Ivy presence. A good Ooh, double nice. nade drops a fourth JT back, and Tarek, through the cover of smoke, is able to take JT out. Continuation spray does not work. The delayed drop throws his aim off a bit. I think after he sees the two nades, he's expecting the drop right away. Of course, you're going to hold the mouse one down. Maybe that was part of it. Maybe Tarek just missed the hole. I think both options are entirely possible. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes. Usually it's the wrong hole. This time just missed the first one. Okay. Stanislaw up to the top of Ivy. Modem knows that there's going to be players here lurking, but who's going to win? Oh, that's the flash. Very nice. 
Well timed. Blinds, more than one, but luckily there was three. So EG trying to bring this one into overtime, getting closer to the A site, but they haven't found a way past Sonic. So unless Breeze oh, is meant to clutch, Sonic. it's all cut down. Sonic, not even the prime.